Well, we're on your side tonight to take a closer look at the first time home buyers tax credit. The program expires in a little more than a month. And if you're looking to take advantage of that $8,000 credit, you may already be out of luck. News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us now. He is here to explain, Mark. Well, Eric, simply put, time is just running out for folks as the November 30th deadline quickly approaches. And to get that $8,000 tax credit, the closing must happen on or before that date. The argument being that 30 days to close on a home is very unrealistic in this market. The lending mortgage companies, banks, the whole, all of the lending institutions, to get these done in 30 days, it just isn't happening like it used to. But 1.47 million people have taken advantage of this tax credit since it began, and some reports suggest a quarter of those people were buyers who would not have bought without the tax credit. And as it runs out, realtors and lenders are busier than ever with last-minute sales. While it will be tough, it is still doable if you're prepared. If you have pre-approval from your lender, I think it could still be done. It's going to be quick, and you need to make sure you have all of your ducks in a row, but it could be done. The tax credit expires on November 30th, and that's a hard and fast deadline unless Congress decides that they're going to extend it, which we're working and uh, trying to get that accomplished. Now, there are two debates going on in Congress right now. One is simply extending the program as it is right now until June of next year. But there's another discussion taking place about increasing the tax credit to $15,000 for all homeowners, not just first-time home buyers. But experts say you shouldn't bank on that happening, at least not by November 30th. Interestingly enough, in some states, buyers are making the tax credit a part of their offer, meaning if they're unable to close by the November 30th deadline, the deal is null and void. Uh, there's no doubt it has helped move some properties. Mm -hmm. Mark Lovacott reporting tonight. Mark, thank you very much.